unit conversion. So in maths, often we need to convert one unit to another. And here we're going to look at how we can do that. So we're going to start off by looking at a base unit. And we're going to do that for length, mass, and capacity. So our base unit for length is going to be meters. For mass, it's going to be grams. And capacity, it's going to be liters. Now, we're going to look at something called prefix prefixes. So we're going to look at milli, which is a little m, centi, which is a c, and deci, which is a d. Then we're going to look at deca on this side, which is actually da, hecto, which is a h, and kilo, which is a K. And then inside our little table, we can use our prefixes up here, which go at the start of our base units. So over here, we're going to have millimeter, centimeter, decimeter, meter, decameter, hectometer, Kilometer, milligram, centigram, decigram, decagram, hectogram, kilogram, milliliter, centiliter, deciliter, liter, decaliter, hectoliter. And kiloliter. So obviously some of those sound a little funny because we don't use most of those. So the ones we do use are millimeter, centimeter, meter, and kilometer, milligram, gram, and kilogram, milliliter, liter, and kiloliter. But it's important to know the other ones exist because it's going to help us make sense in converting them. So if we want to go this way on our table, we want to be multiplying our units. And if we go this way, we want to be dividing. Because every unit from here to 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 here decreases or increases by a factor of 10. So depending how many jumps we want to make is what we want to multiply or divide by. So if I want to go from here to here, I'm going left here to here and I want to divide by 10. If I'm going from here to here to here, so from centimetres to metres, I want to divide by 100. There's two jumps, that's two zeros on 100. If I want to go all the way from millimetres to kilometres, that's one, two, three, four, five, six jumps. So I want to divide by a million, because a million has six zeros, and that's going to be six jumps. You can think about it as if you're going from a small unit to a bigger unit, you want to divide. And if you're going from a big unit to a small unit, that's when you want to be multiplying. So let's just look at a couple of examples. How would you change one kilometer 
into centimeters. Well, here I'm going from a big unit to a small unit, and a big unit to a small unit needs, means I need to multiply. And what do I need to multiply by? Well, how many jumps is this? One, two, three, four, five. Five jumps. So I need to be multiplying with a one and five zeros. So I'm going to multiply by 100,000. So one kilometer is 100,000 centimeters. Let's look at one more example. Let's change 10,000, one too many zeros, 10,000 millimeters into meters. Well, here I'm going from a smaller unit to a bigger unit, which means I need to be dividing. And what do I need to divide by? How many jumps am I going to make? One, two, three. So I need to divide by a one with three zeros. I need to divide by a thousand. And if I do that, I'm going to get ten meters. Thank you.